This video covers installation procedures for Thermon PETK power connection and end termination kits, with Thermon heating cables shown. Receiving, storing, and handling. Inspect materials for damage incurred during shipping. Report any damages to the carrier for settlement. Identify parts against the packing list to ensure the proper type and quantity have been received. And, store in a dry location. These are the recommended tools for installation of the PETK power connection and end termination kits. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. Important! Prior to terminating with PETK kit, heating cable must be properly installed within expediter assembly, and mounted to pipe. See Terminator and or Trace Plus installation procedures for expediter mounting details. Remove heating cable over jacket and separate metallic braid. Cut and remove 152 mm or 6 inches of heating cable over jacket. Caution, do not cut metallic braid. Using a screwdriver, separate braid strands at edge of over jacket. Pull cable through opening in braid. Twist braid into pigtail, trim ends of braid. Slide ground sleeve over braid. Cut and remove primary insulation jacket. This is only required on BSX and RSX cables. Remove 120 mm or 4 and 3 quarter inches of primary insulation jacket. Matrix removal for BSX, RSX, HTSX, KSX, and VSX cables. Cut and remove a 4 mm strip of conductive matrix between the conductors. Caution, do not cut bus wire strands. Install power boot on heating cable. Apply a liberal amount of RTV sealant to cable, and inside of the boot. Slide boot on to end of cable. Heating element removal for HPT and FP cables. Cut and remove 120 mm or 4 and 3 quarter inches of primary insulation jacket. Note. Bus connection must be no more than 50 mm or 2 inches from pipe as addressed in connection kit procedures. Cut and remove fiberglass overlay and heating element. Push any remaining heating element wire under the primary insulation jacket. Cut and remove 117 mm or 4 and 5 8 inches of pairing jacket. Install power boot on heating cable. Apply a liberal amount of RTV sealant to cable and inside of the boot. Slide boot on to the end of cable. End termination for BSX, RSX, HTSX, KSX, and VSX cables. Cut and remove 13 mm or 1 half inch of heating cable over jacket. Trim away exposed braid from cable. Apply a liberal amount of RTV sealant to inside of end cap and to cable.
slide and cap on to end of cable. End termination for HPT and FP cables. Trim the cable 75 mm or 3 inches from the bus connection. Cut and remove 25 mm or 1 inch of over jacket. Trim away exposed braid from cable. Cut and remove 19 mm or 3 quarter inch of primary insulation jacket. Cut and remove fiberglass overlay and heating element. Push any remaining heating element wire under the primary insulation jacket. Cut and remove 6 mm or 1 quarter inch of pairing jacket. Stagger cut one of the bus wires. Tape bus wires individually and then together with Thermon supply tape. Apply a liberal amount of RTV sealant to inside of boot and onto cable. Slide and cap onto end of cable. Completed installation of Thermon PETK power connection and end termination kit.